12th time we are holding this ceremony in the city of New York. So we're very grateful that all of you came out this morning to be with us and commemorate uh, the lives lost 100 years ago. Good morning to everyone. Welcome to the DeWitt Clinton Park and thank you for joining us today. Our memorial today is part of four ceremonies remembering the solemn voyage of the Wheaton from Europe to the United States exactly 100 years ago. The ship carried home 5,169 fallen military members representing almost every unit in the American Expeditionary Force and nearly every country in the United States. This doughboy is one of nine that we have uh, sculptures of in our park system. The person who fought in the, in the trenches, literally and figuratively, uh, uh, and gave their lives often did not return and left families in, in grief. It's a beautiful day in the city to celebrate our renewal after the past year's struggles and to reflect on the sacrifices of those who paved the way for all who stand. Since the birth of our country, brave individuals from New York and across the country have proudly enlisted in all branches of the United States Armed Forces. These heroes continue to inspire us with their valiant service, both on the home front and, abroad and around the world. We owe them an unpayable debt of gratitude for their unwavering dedication to protecting our democratic ideals. And every year, Memorial Day gives us an opportunity to recognize their service. This year, it is an honor to join with Flanders House to commemorate the 100th anniversary of the arrival of 44,000 fallen World War II heroes in New York Harbor. Resiliency and tenacity continue to motivate us to forge a brighter and safer future for all. Now, therefore, I, Bill de Blasio, 109th Mayor of the City of New York, do, holem, do, solem, do hereby proclaim Tuesday, May 18th, 2021, in the City of New York as Flanders Field Memorial Day. Signed, Bill de Blasio, Mayor, City of New York. France owes an eternal debt of gratitude to the men who fought in Flanders Fields and to all the Americans who fought by our side in World War I. The arrival of US forces brought back hope to these men and allowed them to make the final push to defeat the Germans. In closing, let us also remember that the best way to honor the American heroes who gave us so much would be to de dedicate ourselves to the unfinished work that they fought for and so nobly advanced. In Flanders fields, the poppies blow. Between the crosses, row on row, that mark our place. And in the sky, the larks, still bravely singing, fly. Scarce heard amid the guns below. We are dead. Short days ago, we lived. Fell down, saw sunset glow. Loved and were loved. And now we lie in Flanders fields. Take up our crawl with the foe. To you, from failing hands, we throw the torch. Be yours to hold it high. If ye break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep, though poppies grow in Flanders fields.